You know that thing when all your holds come in at the same exact time? It has happened to me. I thought I would do, which I haven't done in a while, a currently reading slash library haul kind of video so you can see what I have kind of on my plate right now reading wise as possibilities that I might get to in the near future. So one book that I am currently reading right now and I'm doing a buddy read of this is The Awakening by Kate Chopin. I have not read this book since high school. I read it in 11th grade and that was almost 10 years ago guys. So I was really excited to go back to this text because it is my favorite by far book that I read in high school in my AP Lit and AP Language composition classes. I'm just excited to see if it holds up. I feel like it will um, but it was one of those first texts that like made me think differently about my gender and about feminism and one of those like kind of introductory texts that got me thinking. I'm on page 40-ish and it's not a very long book. It's like 190 something pages so we will see. Other things that I have out from the library that I've had out for maybe a couple weeks now and I, I haven't taken the plunge um, is The Unseen World by Liz Moore. I heard about this both on Stephanie from That's What She Read and Olive from a book Olive's channel and they have really enjoyed this book and I think it's for the character work and that's what intrigues me about this story. I know that it has to do about a girl and her father and her father has homeschooled her basically and he kind of lives in the lab and she's kind of there and it sort of has a mystery twinge to it because she's trying to discover all these things. It just appealed to me so we'll see if I get to this one. It's one that I had out on audio but I didn't really plunge into it so we'll see. Another one that I have tried to read maybe twice or three times now and I just have to be in the mindset where like this is the only thing that I care about, this is the only book that I prioritize and it just has not happened. Now that I have graduated, maybe it is the time. The third book from the Elena Ferrante Neapolitan novels, Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay. I probably read 40 pages into this um, and then like I become disconnected from it. It's one you really have to kind of like get ready for I think just because I know my heart's gonna break reading this and last but not least one that I read the first chapter of this morning and I was like whoa I really like this is The Astonishing Color of After and this is by Emily XR Pan and I first heard about this on Rincey's channel at Rincey Reads and I have seen other people talk about it in their videos as well and definitely a YA that I feel can appeal to adults and it's about a young girl who her mother is a bird and then it's her going back to Taiwan I I believe meeting her grandparents after her mother has committed suicide and her trying to find this bird which is her mother. The first chapter was really really captivating and I'm just excited to go back to it so I, I really want to read this one. And then my bag of books, this is my bag that I take to work, is completely just full of books for my own pleasure. Uh, let's see, the first one that I started when I was on break at work today is the Female Persuasion by Meg Wallitzer. Who has not heard about this book um, on booktube? I think everybody has. I've never read Meg Wallitzer and I've heard differing opinions about the interest things and I guess I'm just interested in Meg Wallitzer as an author, as a writer, so I'm going to read this one just because it's the one that's been buzzing. I read maybe the first couple pages while I was maybe two or three pages when I was on break. I liked it. So we'll see if I shall get to this one soon. I know this is one that has like a long wait list so it's like one that I have to think about in this pile as one that I have to finish sooner rather than later because I can't really renew it since so many people want it. So yes. The next one is one that I've first heard about on What Should I Read Next, the podcast with Ann Vogel, and it is The Barefoot Bandit, the true tale of Colton Harris Moore, New American Outlaw, and it traces this guy, Colton Harris Moore, who kind of like evaded the cops and did like a bunch of random crimes. He fled from juvenile prison, stole an airplane. He was on the run for two years before he was caught, and it's tracing all of that by looking at witnesses and seeing all the things that he did and like what locals thought about it. I just thought it sounded like such an interesting nonfiction read um, and I think it's going to be more narrative than not. So that's another one that I want to get to soon and this one is one that sadly I can't find anywhere on audiobooks so it's like I kind of have to read it in print form and that's just the way it is. Another new release that I was excited for. It is actually a podcaster that I listened to, Brooke Gladstone from On The Media. Her daughter wrote a book and this is that book. Apart from having that connection to me, um, it's just I've heard good things about it. Kind of like a new take on upending the idea of what we think about when we think about it 
bad girl. So it's The Accidental Bad Girl by Maxine Kaplan. She's become an instant pariah because she slept with her best friend's ex. Her online identity has been hacked. It says if she wants to repair her tattered reputation, she'll have to pretend to be the bad girl everyone thinks she is. And the longer she plays the role of bad girl, the more it seems to fit. And I hope that it just has good writing, so we can cross our fingers for that. Um... um graphic novels? Bitch Planet. I've never read this. I wanted to get back into graphic novels. I've been reading some, but I haven't been reading any that have multiple volumes, and this is book one of that one. I'm just not good at series, but I'm gonna continue trying. I just want to find a series that I can actually feel excited for every time there's a new one that comes out. I'm excited to try this one out. It's one that I feel like was really popular a couple years ago on booktube. Another graphic novel, which is kind of a weird one, and we'll see if it's any good at all, but I was just searching the catalog, seeing what kind of Degrassi things we have going on at the library, and we have Degrassi graphic novels. These were published in the mid-2000s, I think like 2006 to 2008. Very strange. It's black and white, so it doesn't have any color in it, but it is the original The Next Generation castmates. Um, so this is Ellie, and that made me like so excited because it just seems like it's gonna have all the characters that I grew up with and that I love so much, and maybe it'll be in, like a nice nostalgia short read. There's three other ones other than this one, and I think that's where it ended. So if it's any good, I'll continue reading them. One that probably you would not expect from me <laughs> is Nora Roberts' Dance Upon the Air. Uh, probably a week ago, I got really into looking up which stories because I have not read one in a really long time and if I have I have not read one that is good <laughs> so I wanted to find more witch stories. I've heard that she's actually a good writer and that her characters are really nice and make you empathetic and sympathetic towards their experiences. Um, and this is a witch novel. It's a trilogy, so we'll see if I enjoy this one. I might continue reading. Our main character now, who escapes her abusive husband and moves to a new town, realizes that in this town there's secrets, of course. The island is under a terrible curse and that can only be broken by descendants of the three sisters, the witches who settled the island back in 1692. She gets on with two other gifted women and and up using their witchcraft to do things and hopefully solve this curse, right? I know one of my goals this year was to try popular authors. This is me saying no to my biases and saying um, screw that and I'm trying really really popular authors. <laughs> Last but not least is an ARC. It is a book that I have heard about and probably maybe I'll try to see if I could get it on audiobook and it is Boomtown by Sam Anderson. This is all about Oklahoma City as a city, tracing its founding, what has happened, all the crazy weather that happens there including tornadoes, and the basketball team, of course the Oklahoma City Thunder. So it seems like a very interesting book I think just because it's about something very specific like just looking at a city and I'm just hoping that the way that it is written it seems very approachable and fun and just has like interesting tidbits about a city that I don't know much about and I've never visited but I have heard really good things about this. It's out in August. That is my stack and that's exciting. No more in my backpack. My priority is continuing the awakening and then getting started on the female persuasion just because I know I need to give it back soon. And then the, all the other ones are not really that high priority because they're not as requested. If you've read any of these or would like to read any of these, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye. <laughs>